and there is a small group that was saying nikipewa ataanguka wakafanya kampeni kwake wakamkoroga akasikiza akasikiza finally he applied his mind as a very seasoned politician and came to the conclusion that the person at that time who looked capable of helping him to mobilize the vote is Regadi Gashagwa. He applied his mind and decided the person who would assist him to manage the affairs of this country is Regadi Gashagwa. He made that decision. Our one of the person alikuwa meongoza, alikuwa nasema, over my dead body, hawezi pewa. Anapa. Hata tukiwa hapo Karen, walikuja bibi yangu, pastor doka, zikiwa hapo, wakamfukusa. Nikapewa. Some of them have never moved on. Easy as on a mingi, it is that small group that has a grouped. Sasa kuna page yetu naitua Project 22, wanashinda hapo wakiweka fitina na propaganda kukoroga wa bunge nini 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 because they have not moved on and when i was given that job as running mate the president assigned me the mount kenya region and rift valley nikasunguka hi mulima muliniona hamkuniona i mobilized this vote and i mobilized for uda viti zote tukafagia na tukapata ite 7% Nikaenda Rift Valley, there was a problem, the independent candidates. Senator, you are there. I mobilized the people to kapata vitiote. Siku tulikuwa tunaenda running meet, tunaenda debate. Iyo group tu wakaenda kwa rais. Oh, hii mutu yako ulichukua sasa ona. Akienda hii debate, tumeisha. Hii mutu haja soma, hajui kisungu, hajui kufaa. Sasa tulikuambia, ukambatia, sasa hii uchaguzi yako yore taharibika. Waka mkoroka raisi, mbaka raisi, waka nipigia sasa hii debate na muna gani. Utahenda hama tuwache. Nika ambia raisi, you made the right decision. Nika muambia Deputy President William Ruto. Tonight, by 11 p.m., I'll wind up that lady uta musikia tena kwa siyasa ya Kenya. Walikuwa anasema sijui kisungu. Nilipofika pale, nilipromosha, ziku promosha. You know, these people, some of them were saying, Ati mutu ni first time MP, si tumekuwa tamu bili, tamu tatu, wana nitharau mimi. Nimeona mwingine, anajifanya tini ya four times. Alikuwa nasema William Ruto hawezi chaguliwa. E, anajificha tu hapo nyuma na chama yake, di wapate kura. Ata hakupigia William Ruto kura. Ati sikuisi ya nanitukana, ati kama utaki serikali, ati toka wende utafute yako. Na yeye hakupigia raisi kura. Sasa tunaona watu who are not with the president. Today are lecturing us about loyalty to the president. When we suffered to stand with William Ruto. Hakuna mutu waliumia kuliko mimi, hiko? Tukasimama kidete. When William Ruto, president, needed a man to stand with him, we were there. Tumeona watu walikuwa na mpiga. Wengine walitufungulia mashitaka ya uongo. Walidetu kwa serikali di wanakoroga hii serikali yetu na fitina na propaganda. When President William Ruto needed people to stand with him, we were there for him. Characters alimechukua kutoka serikali iliopita, who were mobilizing funds against him. Wamepewa viti di wanakoroga hii serikali. Let me tell these people, please, don't destabilize our government. You may think you are destabilizing Regadi Gashagwa, but you are not. You are destabilizing the government of President William Ruto. Tulichinda kura na 200,000 only. Musikuwe na kiburi. Don't forget the journey imetufikisha hapa. Don't forget the struggles imetufikisha hapa. Musilete fitina na propaganda kwa serikali yetu. Mutupatie na fasi tumusaidie William Ruto to succeed. Iyo diyo tutataka mutupatia na fasi. Na wale wa mama wameimba hapa wamesema kila kitu. Hawa wa mge mama wameimba hapa. Zimati ya inawega? Wabuka tuheo geteo na tuheo dhaye wakulutake. Iyo tu. Sisi we are focused 
I remain committed, loyal to the president, to assist him to deliver his promise to the people of Kenya. But there are many busy bodies for relevance, wengine wakitafuta pesa, siasa, propaganda, fitina, and even agencies within government are part of that scheme. And those people were not part of this government. They don't know the struggle to lipitia. Some of us were to angaisha sahi wako ndani ya serikali. They were brought right in the center and they were not part of this government. Na diyo wanakoroga hii serikali yetu. I want to urge our leaders, please let's be united. Let us not fall to propaganda. Tusikubali fitina. Tufanya kazi. Na mawaziri mtu wafanya kazi ya mepewa. Na wewe kama unataka kufanya siyasa, go and mobilize kwenu. Pahali wili ya mtu walikataliwa na 80%. Wewe unakuja pahali tulikuwa na 87% kusaidia nini? Siyapa sisi wenyewe tutafanya? And I want to say, the unity of this region is not negotiable. You leaders may be divided in opinion, but one inch niki waskiza na mimi nimuti ya kuskiza ground. We are united to a man. Mimi, I know my job. Wewe kama ni mbunge, you cannot supervise a deputy president. Wewe ni waziri, you cannot supervise a deputy president. Kama unataka kuwa deputy president, kuenda tafuta president William Ruto, diyo anapeana hiyo kazi, akupe. Siku yako ikifika. For now, fanya kazi yako. Wachia gargadhi kashagwa, afanya kazi yake. Wewe kama huko bunge, unganisha wa bunge, desa siyasa ya bunge. Hizo kilo saa hii badu fikisha, goja kidogo. And some of us, our history is known. We are principled and nobody can intimidate us. And we are focused in what we believe in. We are moved by conviction. I am convinced that I need, as the leader of this region, to unite this, lead, this region behind our president. And no amount of noise can distract me. Mimi nafanya kazi ya kusaidia rais, I am focused. Mambo ya kahawa, next week tuko na daily conference, tuko na mambo ya pombe, hiyo kazi yote tutaendelea nae. And I want you to ignore those people. And I want these leaders from now not to respond to them. Give them the contempt card. Mimi diyo nemitaka nieleze. That we are not distracted, we are focused. We know where we have come from, we know where we are, we know where we are going. Adoi tu nemuajigua? Nemu gote kira tu kaya dia? Ya?